For this fourth simulation, we will look at the drive times that it takes to go from the home region outwards to progressively distant regions and also we'll look at what's called the intra-regional drive times. Okay, to do so, let's go to the, first let's look at the one-way drive times. By default, we have the drive times as 15 minutes one way to the A regions, 20 minutes one way to the B regions, and 25 to the C regions, and onward, 5 minutes greater time one way to the more outlying regions. And this is one reason that the uh, for the radio alphabetic determination of these regions as they progress from the A region. Notice that region H has 10 minutes. This is for to go to one residence in the A H region and back. So these are the defaults. Um, this is Definitely not realistic. It's better than nothing. However, um, indeed, it might take 20 minutes to go to B1, but it might take five minutes to go to B3 because there's a expressway that goes from B3 to H where there's not an expressway going to B1 to H. So, But that's what this interface is for, where we can change the default values. But before we do that, Let's look at the intra-regional drive times, and what we can do here is change the time that it takes to go from one residence or business or locale to another in the respective regions. The default for this is no time, which is definitely unrealistic, so it's saying that if there is three deliveries in region A2, it's going to take 30 minutes there and back because... We are not considering the time it takes to go from locale to locale within this region. Uh, but it gives us a clean slate to change this, which we will do. So before we do that, what I did before uh, I started this simulation is I changed the value of the population. The global population is 100 residences businesses or people, whichever way you want to look at it, in most of these regions. However, I changed F2, D3, and E9 to have 5,000 entities in those three regions because we're going to change the drive times to those regions. So first what we'll do, we'll go to F2, click on it, and change that drive time one way to 100 minutes one way. Then we would go to D3, change that to 150 minutes, one way. And then we would go to E9, no, just for the inter, for the one-way drive times, those two regions only. Then we will go to the one-way, the intra-regional drive times, and change E9 to 20 minutes from locale to locale there. So it will still take the default one-way drive time to the E region. However, we are now counting for the drive times from one location to another within that region. Let's go to the main map, show the legend, and we will do two days for 250 orders and run the project and naturally, region F2, D3, and E9 should greatly surpass all the other regions uh, in the amount of orders generated because of the um, significantly higher population. And I would like to reiterate, remember, that I said that a population can be set higher, not necessarily because of the amount of people or residences in that area, but because of some favorable demographic or condition that would lead to generating more orders for those particular regions. Okay, we have 250 orders placed, three trucks in the field to D3, one to D3, as you can see. It still has five orders outstanding, and there's a, a truck dispatched to it. E4 has a truck dispatched to it, so we should see a uh, an order outstanding there, which we do. 
And then we have, okay, it's calculating the, um, it's inputting the data into the reports. That what we'll do first and foremost is go to the delivery report and we'll look, find F2. Oh, D3 is on top, okay? Um, it has a round trip drive time of five hours. Now, remember, we set that to 150 minutes one way. So, 150 minutes is two and a half hours one way. So, round trip is five hours. Indeed, it is performing as we has asked, have, have asked it to. Let's find region E9, and we have region E9, three hours and 30 minutes. So that tells us that we set 20 minutes intra-regional drive time. So to go to an E region and back would take about an hour. So we have 200, that's a default one-way drive time. So we have added two hours and 30 minutes onto that which says that there is about seven deliveries in that region. I don't have the time to actually go into the residence report and correlate these addresses with the delivery report because I have about 10 minutes to record this simulation in order to Upload it to YouTube. Any more than 10 minutes, it will not accept the simulation. But just realize that this is valuable information to coordinate the um, delivery report. And you can see, okay, if we look at region, another region that has a default set, B5. One way to a B region is 20 minutes. And indeed, Back and forth is 40 minutes to a B region. See this B5, 40 minutes. So it's performing as as it should. C regions, 25 minutes each way. Round trip is 50, 50 minutes. F2, we have 100 minutes each way. And indeed, it's showing the round trip as 320 minutes. Now, to look at, excuse me, to look at the settings report, we can see the one-way drive time is default for all the regions until we get to region D3, F2, and then we have set the one-way drive time, in intra-regional drive time, for region E9 to 20 minutes, and it's showing on the settings report. Go to the main map. Thank you very much for watching this simulation.